Many people wonder, why in the world do people collect errors? You know, it's just kind of neat finding something that's not supposed to be packaged that way, or there's missing parts or missing tampos, mixed wheels. There's lots of different types of errors, but, uh, you know, the other question people wonder is, are they worth anything? You know, items like this, you have the uh, Sweet 16 II from Hot Wheels. It's facing the wrong direction. Is that an error? In my opinion, yes. Because the Hot Wheels, basic Hot Wheels are all packaged going to the right. Whereas Matchbox go to the left. Like this one up here. They face to the left. So is it an error? Well, in my opinion, it's it's the most basic of errors. It really just wasn't supposed to be that way, but, you know, it's not that big a deal. Does it add any value? That's another thing people want to know, is does it make it worth any money because it's an error? And really, any of these errors, I'm going to show you a whole bunch right now so we can talk about errors, um, it's only worth what someone's going to pay what someone is worth paying. You can put a $20 price on something. Doesn't mean that it's worth $20. It's only worth $20 if somebody will give you the $20. I'm going to start off with the most basic of errors. I call these flippers because they're flipped around in the package somewhat. All right. This one's flipped backwards. This one's flipped sideways. Uh, not uncommon at all. You know, it happens all the time. You know, the die-cast companies, they manufacture millions of cars. So stuff's going to happen. Uh, another common uh, error are mispacks. This is the uh, Dodge M80, I believe. Dodge, uh, yeah, M80 on a rigor mortar package. That's not uncommon for it to be on the wrong card. Is it worth anything? Only if someone will give you extra money for it. But it's, it also depends on the car itself. If this was a 67 Camaro, maybe somebody would pay an extra something over the dollar that it originally cost. Errors like this to where there's like a paint smear on it. You know, yeah, it's an error in my opinion. It wasn't supposed to be released like that kind of interesting most errors in my opinion are just conversation pieces some errors however like these two see how the wheels are squished up into the body these are messed up in my opinion yes they're errors are they worth collecting no uh, I actually call them something I can't say on camera but for now we'll just say they're uh, messed up Next most common error, mixed wheels. Here we have a chrome wheel when they all should have been the same color. I love finding mixed wheels. Probably my uh, one of my most favorite errors to find. This one I showed in my other videos. It was in a five pack with uh, five chrome burners. Supposed to be all five hole. But this one got a 10 spoke on it. Plus chrome, I love it. This is one of my favorite errors to have in my collection. Is it worth anything? Uh, only if uh, someone's willing to pay extra for it. But it's not a popular model. So more than likely, uh, it is not worth that much. Let's see. Uh, let's step up a little bit in talking about uh, errors. This one. The Stutz Blackhawk from the, I think, 1998 Tattoo Machine series. Hmm, what's wrong with it? Yeah, it's got no tattoo. It's got no graphics. It's supposed to have a tampo design on here. So, these uh, definitely are worth more than original purchase price. Alright, because these are pretty hard to find. How much more? <laughs> Only what someone's willing to pay. Let's see, that's a no tampo. This one got opened up. 
it didn't get caught in time. But uh, this one is a missed rivet error. The rivets did not get flared. Can you see how the rivet post comes straight down? They didn't get flared out to grab onto the base. So in effect, it comes apart. All the pieces are there. Miss rivets are definitely, uh, in my opinion, a little bit more collectible than mixed wheels. Here we have this uh, nice uh, Lamborghini where the base, the rivet, kind of got pulled through the body. Or the base, I should say. And so as you can see, the body is not seated all the way down. In addition, it's a Lamborghini. So this is probably more collectible. More people will probably be interested in that one. Can you tell what's wrong with this? These kinds of errors, I am not good at spotting. But this is another segment of air collectors. They like to call these all small wheel, ASW. This is supposed to be a large wheel in the back. See how it's got the big wheel? This one has all small wheels. It's supposed to have a small wheel and a big wheel, like this. More than likely, I would miss this. I'm pretty sure I acquired this uh, in a collection that I bought. It's not limited to just Hot Wheels, but to be honest with you, uh, hot, the single carded packages seem to be more collectible because people like to have standards in their collection. So here, this is a no chrome wheel error. I've glanced on the back side and I can tell this wheel has chrome. So this one did not uh, get chrome. This is a no chrome error in the matchbox. Check out this matchbox error. I collect avalanches, can you tell? No wheels at all. Missing parts are definitely the next tier as far as uh, collectability. These are uh, much less frequently found when they have missing parts. But just because they have uh, missing parts or they're broken, check out this uh, two-pack. The body of this car here, I don't, know, I don't know what the problem is, but it's just, it's just floating around in there. It's all messed up. Uh, you know what? This is probably never going to be worth the original purchase price of this set. Uh, like I mentioned, people like to collect single-carded uh, packages. Remember, these only cost a dollar. So if it's going to be anything worth anything more, it's much easier for it to be worth more than a dollar if it costs a dollar. And I think these two car sets were twenty dollars. Help me, twenty twenty five dollars. I forgot. So it's really hard for this to appreciate in value because the original price was high. So this this is a nice uh, piece here too as well, because this uh, Shelby. Many people collect Mustangs. Well, it's got a little piece of tape in there. I've shown this several times in my videos. I mentioned missing parts. Sometimes parts just don't get attached. There's a T-bucket and the motor uh, not attached. And I, I mentioned that the missing parts or loose parts they're probably more collectible because they're kind of hard to find. They're not very common as far as errors go. Here you have the engine not attached in this uh, twin duction. But like there's some situations to where it's kind of a common error. So T-bucket, engine not attached in blue, in red, and a freeze. Yeah, I collect T-buckets. Can, t -buckets, can you tell? And this was like a uh, lavender type color. But because the engine comes apart kind of often in the tea bucket, uh, this is not all that unusual of an error. Some cars have canopies. This one did not uh, snap in. I know I have a uh, subscriber 
who really likes the 60 Beast. So I'm sure he's going to like seeing this one. Is this one that collectible? Uh, you know what? Because of the model, not that collectible. Canopies not being attached, not exactly that rare. So you know what? It's probably not even worth the dollar that was originally spent. I told you about it depends on the model. If it's going to be uh, worth extra money, well, what if it was a treasure hunt? On a Dodge Sandwider card. Yeah, this is going to be, this will appreciate because this was originally a dollar, and that's a treasure hunt. Treasure hunts, limited editions, uh, promotional vehicles, those will be more collectible because they're produced in smaller quantities. And then to find an error in addition to that, that's pretty cool. Let's see, what do I have here? Oh, here's my last set of avalanches. This is the Blings avalanche. It's missing the uh, back. Here's another one. Missing the window. And what's this one? And this is just a flipper. It's just a backwards in the pack. Are they worth anything? Eh. Only what people will pay. Okay? That's the bottom line. They're only worth something if people are willing to pay for it. Me? I drive an avalanche? I was willing to pay. I didn't pay that much, I'm sure, because there's nobody bidding against me. Nobody wants it. So Hot Wheels errors, what are they worth? Only what someone is willing to pay. Why are they collectible? They're kind of fun to look for. They're pretty hard to find. They're not exactly that rare. I mean, millions of cars are fine, but millions of cars are produced. But the truth is, they're produced in errors are produced in much less quantities than treasure hunts. So they probably are the real treasures. Take care. Bye-bye.